friends. My name is Joey Balistrieri. Welcome to my channel. I just wanted to do a quick video today because I've made a few things. They're all laying out here on my table, but I've made a few things in the last couple of weeks that are just really beautiful. And I, when I'm working on the videos, it's a little bit hard for me sometimes to rearrange my camera and my lighting and put things on the dress form that I have. Gabriella Eva, for those of you who have been following my channel, I named my, my little model. Um, so one of the things that I have been having so much fun with is this stunning bracelet where I made these connectors and then connected them into a bracelet. And I cannot stop wearing this. So in this video, I also did a necklace. And it's really the exact same technique, except I didn't put a bottom bar. And I just did a picture of it laying on my beading mat. So I wanted to show you what this looks like on. And the other thing is, this is um, all these beautiful candy colors of faceted check glass rounds. And I love that but we are in the autumn and you know I am feeling autumn I'm feeling acorns and the golds and mustards and the you know um browns and uh what I'd like the sienna colors I am feeling that but I was playing around in my in my closet and I thought you know because I did do some of these golden yellows mixed in I thought the candy colors look really pretty with the fall colors as well. So I just thought I would share that. And then the other thing that I did not do in the video, I was noticing when I was getting dressed that this is so colorful and this as well. And I feel like if I do a statement piece somewhere on in my outfit, I feel like then I don't wanna do like another statement piece on my ears as well as here, it's too much. And it ends up not looking good. So I think it was Coco Chanel that said, before you leave the house, take one piece of <laughs> jewelry, one accessory, take it off. <laughs> so um, I have a little, um, a little watery eye this morning. Um, sorry about that. So um, I was looking at all my earrings and I thought everything that I have made for earrings is really going to be too busy if I wear this necklace. So I quickly sat down with all the leftover beads because I had cut open strands and I did a really, really simple little drop. And then this one, um, let me do this side, maybe you can see better. This one I also did really quickly. And let me take this off. This was another video where I made these interchangeable ear wires and I just really love these. I have been wearing these nonstop since I made them, which is saying something because you know if you've been around my channel that these interchangeable lever back ear wires that are gold filled have been my favorites for a long time. But I just did like took some of my leftover check glass beads and little discs and just to have something that coordinates with these pieces, but that is a little bit more simple when I get dressed. So I can easily slide this little drop off if I decide that I want to do pink, like today I was feeling a little autumnal. But if I decide that I did want to do pink, you know, I can easily put those, put those in and I have a little bit more of color in my ear. So I just gave myself, that's the beauty of being a jewelry maker. We can give ourselves options. I think it took me less than five minutes to make two drops with my leftover check glass beads. So that's really fun. And then I did want to show you something that I made last month that kind of got left out, but I so love these. This was from the Jesse James Bead Magical Mystery Box. I think month before last in the bead mix there was these gorgeous little flower charms this pink one had this unusual connection there focus camera and um i wanted these to be earrings and i wanted these to be facing forward so in the video i show how to turn this in 
to a facing forward component and stack it and get the perfect space between the pink flower and the red flower, have it all facing forward and have all this nice movement. And again, I did not put ear wires on this. I'm, and I've discovered that I can put these, well, that's backwards. I do have a little dyslexia and with the interchangeable ear wires, it definitely, it definitely affects me. <laughs> Let me get it right. So I've discovered that I can very easily put it on the ear wires that I made, but they also go beautifully on the interchangeable lever back ear wires. And I just wanted to show you what these look like on because I am a big fan of pink and red. I think it's so bold and such a statement. And um, these, you know, had a lot of movement and flirtiness, but they really do hang perfectly. So I might, if you like the idea, might save you a little bit of trial and error because I worked it out already for us. If you got that box, um, this is something you can do with those flower beads. And then I just had to show you the earrings that started this off. So these earrings are what started off this design. You know, sometimes when you're just loving a design or an idea and you're having fun with it, you keep going with it. And that's what I did. So I ended up going from these earrings to this bracelet to this necklace. And when I was making these, I was a little bit busy again. So I just did some fast photographs on the beading mat. And I just thought that I would show them to you on a human being. And I have to also say about these, I generally uh, like smaller earrings. I don't mind a linear drop, but I don't usually wear really bold statement earrings. And that being said, I am crazy for these. I've been wearing them a lot with them. And when my hair is down and as we get into the cooler weather, I think they'll look really nice when my hair is down too. But I just really wanted to give you a look at what these look like on. And there is a, a, a way to make them a bit shorter. You don't have to do a drop as I did. You also could do a little less bars when you create your component. But I really loved featuring the check glass beads in the various colors and sizes the same way that I did on the bracelet. So I took this design idea, turned it sideways, added some more sections, and this cuff bracelet, I am telling you, I look down at my arm wearing this and I just love this and it is so comfortable and for being so wide and so full of beads, it's not heavy and you know, it's very fluid again for being made out of wire. It's very fluid and I just had to show you guys this. So as I said, I just would not wear this necklace with these earrings. It to me, that's just too much. So if I was going to wear my necklace, which I think I might do that today, then I would choose um, another, you know, another more simple earring. So like I said, I made some little drops, really simple, just a simple loop at the top and, you know, just a little something so that I don't have a bare ear because for me, I feel like I always need earrings. And then, oh, before I put my other earring back in, our bargain bead box was so gorgeous this month. And so I did this little set of jewelry. This is the earring. And this little wire wrap technique is so amazing. With a single piece of wire, I was able to kind of create the look of a cone bead cap, plus embellish the front of this faceted lapis bead, get my loop in, and these are just beautiful. They're really long, and these to me are really denim friendly and like really um, you know, something we can wear for fall and winter. So um, I just love those. They're really pretty. I did those. And then I have this stunning coordinating bracelet that I did. I was crazy about these copper connectors. They're filigree. I love the shape. I love the filigree. I just thought these were amazing. So I featured those in just a, it's kind of a beaded chain or a rosary chain style bracelet. But what's stunning about this is, let me put the toggle on so that I can have my other hand free. What's stunning about this is that I used a little bead cap cone 
and the chain that came in the box and the uh, there were quartz beads that were faceted and also this beautiful labradorite. The little labradorite beads just had so much amazing flash. So I just made this really busy full little tassel and this hangs from this bracelet. And again, I didn't really show this how it looks on and you know, I have my other bracelet on. So forgive me here. Let me let me take it off. So I don't want to take that one off because I love it so much, but this tassel is just wonderful. And as it spins around, if it goes on the back of my hand, it's just like the most wonderful little link bracelet and super easy to make. So I wanted to show you that. And also with Bargain Bead Box this month, oh, I have two earrings on. Um, I did a wrap bracelet because again, I was crazy in love with the facets on the little labradorite beads in the box and the agate beads were also just beautifully faceted and added a little bit of color and texture so what i did is strung them in sections like like pattern blocks with the labradorite the quartz the labradorite the quartz and ended with the labradorite and I ended with a little embellished chain that makes this wrap bracelet really easy to put on and off, really adjustable. There were so many sweet things in the box this month, the little copper stars, and I just love the little spacers, They're these beautiful little um, like embellished little saucer spacers. And so this is a wrap bracelet and I showed in the video how to put this on, but if you lay, uh, the chain or part of your wrap bracelet over here against your wrist like that, then you have control. You just wrap at random however you want. And when you get to this end, you know, this is secure. And then with that chain, I am able to put my lobster claw clasp in anywhere that, you know, anywhere that I want it. So I could make this tighter. I could make this looser and you know i like more petite anklets but this could go as an anklet as well and i was you know even thinking that if i was really feeling bold and kind of boho that this is a beautiful mix to just like wear these together so i thought i would just show you those because i did the you know the work of the video and then i really needed to be done with work for the day so i didn't do um you know a try on or 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 I just showed it on my beading mat. So let's see what else. Oh yes, one more thing. Let me take this off. And the other thing is that I was able in my budget to get the Softflex Company's Grateful Heart kit for this month and I absolutely adore the three projects that I have done so far. I still have a lot left over and I think I'm going to do a gift for my friend Gail because we're going on a bead shopping trip to South Florida next week and we're both so excited about it. Um, so this might actually get posted while I'm traveling because I like to do that so there won't be any dead air on my channel. <laughs> and so with this kit, um, I have to start with my favorite bracelet. Um, I know that by now, those of you who are following this, you have seen the Green Girl Studio key connector that says love is the key on the back. I am so crazy for this. And I, I just like, I just love it. I could not resist, keys did not come in the kit, but I could not resist the urge to add in keys. And I really love this so much. So I wanted to make it in a bracelet so that I could look at it on my arm like that. And it has so many sweet details. I had this little floral key in my stash. I had these little rhinestone, head pins and I use those to make some flower charms and it goes into it goes from a single strand through larger beads into double strand and I just like put those little cylindrical turquoise beads next to each other and I also have had this little lock and key let me connect it and so you can see how cute it is I have had this little lock and key toggle clasp 
in my stash for a million years. I think this came from Beadbox Bargains, but I don't even remember how many years ago, but I just fell in love with this and I wanted it to be not on the back side of the bracelet. I wanted it to be more at the top of the wrist because it's so cute. So I did it that way, but I put a, made a connector in between the toggle and this keyhole just because I didn't want it to compete with the beauty of this Green Girls Studio. Um, to me, this just looks like architectural salvage, like um, the old, you know, key locks that would be on a Victorian painted lady or um, an old castle or something and just like so romantic and beautiful. So I just love this piece. And as I was working on it, as always happens to me when I'm in the zone, I decided to keep going. There were three of these little heart they're faceted on both sides and they're like this beautiful teal color and they just look so beautiful with the pink. Let's see, I still have an earring on this side. So I did these beautiful little heart earrings. So I ended up with like a, a stacking bracelet set and an earring set and I just love them. So the other bracelet is another beaded chain and it just, the same thing, you just lay the chain over and then connect the lobster claw wherever you would like to connect it and it has you know all this adjustability but i added just the beads they're just they were so beautiful in this kit so i created like some of the same elements that i did on the other one and even i had another little tiny silver key charm in my stash the camera is not focusing and so i added that in it's really not focusing or it seems to not be let me try this way can you see the little the little key? It's so cute. Focus camera there. So I just used the the flowers and I loved the seven millimeter faceted check glass rounds in this beautiful pink color. And there were four of these little hearts in the other mix. And I just made a simple beaded chain with those gorgeous elements. And I can actually wear it together. I was wearing it today. This morning I was wearing these two together with the lock and key. And they just look great together but separate. And this is a great design to have a dramatic drop if you wear it as a bracelet. But with all of these links, this makes a beautiful anklet as well because then you can move the lobster claw clasp down to make it a little bit larger size for an anklet. So I just wanted to share that little set because it's not always in my budget. I get so many boxes and I buy a lot of beads. It's not always in my budget to get the Soft Flex kit, but it was this month I was able to do it. And I just really enjoyed working with it. It was so beautiful. And the ladies and gentlemen there do a really great job. So I actually have, what do I have in my ear? I actually have a dentist appointment today that I have to go to, um, but I wanted to mostly do a video to wish everybody a happy fall as we go into this season. I am getting a lot of comments from different parts of the country and the world that we're feeling fall, we're feeling a little cool down in Florida, not to give a weather report, but Florida, you know, we were in the triple digits and then they do, our news people do like a feels like, you know, temperature, like here's the actual temperature and then here's what it feels like. And we're always in the triple digits through the summer. And it's been really unusual that this year, um, early in September, we had a, a big cool down much earlier than we normally do. And, and it's not cold by any means and we still have a lot of humidity. But like yesterday, I was out and I looked at the, the thermostat and it's at 85 degrees, which, you know, that's a regular cold front for a Floridian, especially in the early weeks of September. So it really does feel like fall and I've already been playing with some designs. I have a, a project tray here. Let me reach for it and um, show you what I what I am working on next. Um, I actually did even pull out some little acorn <laughs> charms, but I have a project tray here and I know I can't turn it very well, but I am working on a design with some sorry silk ribbon and some ballerina cord and maybe I'll add in some Brazilian waxed cord, but I'm working on a design with textile 
for the stringing material to be textile because I got to thinking we're headed into the season where we would be layering things, you know, and we do that in Florida because in the mornings it can be quite cold and then in the evening so you layer and then you take off layers as it heats up and then you layer them back on again as it, you know, as it uh, gets cold again in the afternoon. So this little project tray, I've already been pulling some things in some autumnal pinks and because those are my colors and I think when you love a color it's seasonless it will be your color all year round which is true of me and I'm thinking of a really fun design that's really different and incorporating some stringing materials that you know we may not reach for all the time so that video will be forthcoming and um, I just want to thank you all so much for indulging my little chat and for the support of my channel and I will put links to all of the videos that I have shown you today. I will put those in the description box of this little chat video, this little try on video. Um, they are really fun. And you know, even if you're seasoned at making jewelry, maybe you'll get a design idea or even a see, you know, I what I've always noticed is that other people will put color combinations together that I may not have thought of and that inspires me. So um, let me finish getting dressed here. <laughs> so maybe you'll even get like a little, um, a little color inspiration. Oh, and um, I just saw something else laying here that I meant to show you. Although by now, I think many of you have seen this already. I used some two whole beads. I, I say you might've seen it because I have been wearing this a lot. It's so comfortable. And I did three different versions, but I used my Soft Flex 49 strand bead stringing wire and their number two crimp tubes work fabulously well with their wire and the magical crimping plier. And so I, it takes three number two crimp tubes per ring and some two whole beads, three in this case, three of these little leaf two whole beads, some 15 O seed beads and 11 O seed beads. And it is the coolest, super easy, super fast project. And you make it like a little shank with seed beads and then you crimp it with a number two crimp tube on either side and then you create your size you don't even need a ring mandrel for this then you create your size and do your third crimp right in the middle and um let me put it on this finger and it is just so comfortable and just so like the band is so beautiful you can choose whatever seed beads you like and the little crimp bead right there is unobtrusive you don't feel it like when you're typing or i have been wearing this ring pretty much every day since i made it so i've done a few videos where i was wearing this so you might have already seen it but i just thought i would give it a shout out because it was such a fun project and so easy and you obviously it's a ring so you can use your scraps if you cut away you know two three inches of soft flex wire from a necklace or a bracelet save those because you can make the most gorgeous little rings with it so i'm gonna back up and say thank you so much for watching and indulging my little chat and as i said i did want to show you a few of the things that i've made in the last couple of weeks but also really just to wish everybody a happy fall and because i get to um you know i get to where i'm working 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 head down i don't take the time to set up a different camera angle and i have a different light for when i'm talking into the camera and it's very easy for me to just keep making 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 head down and make 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 and not you know say hello to everybody so i just wanted to do that today so i will see you in the next video. I hope you're all safe and well and having fun on your beading mats. Ciao jewelry making friends.